Right, Tom, we're going to retest the cat meal again. And to start with, what we have is a 60 degree cone, 4 inch discharge. Uh, the product's filled about halfway up the cylinder. And we filled it, patted it down, tried to make it as tight as we could, and let it sit for 24 hours. What we're going to do to start this test is we're going to turn the air on to condition the material in the hopper before we open up the gate valve at the at the discharge. So I'll go ahead and start. What's that? Oh, okay, yeah. Go ahead. Let her rip. We have them all on, Kurt? That okay. one's on. The bottom one's on. All right, right now the bottom chamber's on. Can't really see anything coming up through. There's the next one up. Let me see the material is starting to rise. Actually, it's pushing the head of material up and starting to percolate a little bit. So I'd say we can probably, once we open this valve, it's going to, I got one more chamber. Not sure we're going to need it, but you go ahead. Third and final chamber is open. It appears like we're building a head of product under, or a head of air underneath the product. And we can release the gate valve. This material is going to release rather quickly. Right. The valve is closed because our container to fill is full. I'll go ahead and pull that out and replace it and open it back up. discharge the remainder of it. There you go. Empty. Empty? Yep, it's empty. So I think with a little bit of conditioning, once we start to try to get the product out, it's going to help. 